Hi guys, it's me Jimmy XB. Today I'm going to do a desktop processor versus the laptop processor. I'm going to take a mid-range desktop processor and then I'm going to take the higher range laptop processor. Here is the desktop i5-4690K versus i7-4720 HQ. i7-4720 HQ is a new processor which was launched this year in 2015 compared to the i5-4690K which was launched last year in 2014. Both processor i5-4690K and i7-4720 HQ are based on 22 nanome nanometers. So let me give you some quick specs before I can tell you the benchmark i5-4690K is a 4 core processor with only 4 threads so it means it will have only 4 threads or 4 logical core but i7-4720HQ is a 4 core processor but it have 8 threads so it means that i7-4720HQ have 8 threads compared to the desktop i5-4690K which is only 4 threads and 4 core processor now here is the speed i5-4690K which is a desktop processor have a base speed of 3.5 gigahertz with a turbo clock speed of 3.9 gigahertz and the laptop i7 4720hq have a 2.6 gigahertz base speed and the turbo clock speed is 3.6 gigahertz and the board processor have a 6 megabyte of l3 cache i mean nothing different and the desktop i5 4690k is a 88 watt processor and then the laptop i7 4720HQ is rated at 47 watt TDP and then the i5 4690K is coming at a price point of 242 US dollar compared to the laptop I mean laptop processor always come within a laptop but even you can buy at a trade price from Intel which is costing at 378 the desktop i5 4690K is coming at 242 US dollar and the laptop i7 4720HQ is coming at $378 and then now let me give you the CPU benchmark I mean CPU benchmark is a famous website which, which I don't know have the secret algorithm the benchmark the CPU according to the CPU benchmark the desktop i5 4690K is having 7720 CPU score and then a laptop i7 4720HQ is having 8275 so in CPU benchmark the laptop i7 is more powerful than the desktop i5 now for the image editing I mean all of the web developer web design the most of them use the Photoshop now here is a score for the image editing the desktop i5 4690K is giving you 2000 40 score compared to the i7 4720HQ is giving you 1013 score I mean the more the higher score is much better in here I mean basically the higher score is much better so in short in image editing 2040 of desktop i5 is more than the laptop i7 4720HQ at 165 so Clearly in the image editing round the desktop i5 4690k v now for the video editing the video editing score for the desktop i5 4690k is 3333 and then the laptop i7 4720hq score is 3248 not a much difference still 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 the desktop i5 win with the laptop now for the third round multimedia benchmark multimedia benchmark i mean doing every kind of stupid thing in your laptop or your desktop i mean uncompressing doing multitasking or whatever you want to call it the desktop i5 4690k having the benchmark 1000 611 compared to the laptop i7 47HQ at 1013 so nearly around 600 more score is having for the desktop so in video editing in image editing in multimedia benchmark the desktop i5 4690k win with the i7 
720 HQ so it means that Dexo i5 is more powerful than laptop i7 indeed yes now let's for, now let's move to the gaming benchmark so gaming benchmark for a laptop versus a desktop processor is really hard but i am trying to the gaming benchmark for the i7 for 720HQ is using the GTX 960M processor 965M processor which is similar to the desktop GTX 750Ti I mean the performance is really similar only 1 or 2 percent the performance is different so GTX 965M equals GTX 750Ti so now here is a Crysis 3 benchmark on very highest setting on 1080p full HD display with i5 4690k with GTX 750 Ti it is giving you 34 frame per second now let's move to R9 270 which is giving you 34 frame per second with the i5 now move to, I, to the R9 280 which is giving you 43 frame per second now let's move to the GTX 960 which everybody want to buy is giving you 48 I mean I did a 4 graphic benchmark I mean the 750 Ti GTX 750 Ti with the i5 34 R9 270 34 and then the R9 280 43 and then the GTX 960 48 now let's move to the with the laptop i7 4720hq with a built-in graphic card inside the laptop i mean which properly you can't change gtx 96m is giving you 31 again i'm gonna repeat the laptop gtx 965m with the i7 4720hq is giving you 31 frame per second the desktop i5 4690k K with GTX 750 Ti which you can pick up for uh, less than 150 bucks is giving you 34 frame per second in short the desktop i5 4690k is 15% more powerful than the laptop i7 4720HQ I uh, miss no freaking rocket science if we are going to build up desktop we ask me you should you go for a laptop or desktop I ask you do you travel a lot if not always go for a desktop i mean the cooling is best i mean you can upgrade every year you like i mean maintenance is really really easy at the end of the day even the mid-range desktop processor is more powerful than a higher range laptop processor i will say go with a desktop for a web designer web developer go with a desktop for a content creator go with a desktop but if you are someone like me who really move a lot from this country to another country i mean like like traveling who want to bring his rig then go with a laptop again i5 4690k is 50 percent more powerful than a laptop i7 4720hq if you have any comment if you want to watch any versions of the processor just watch my channel and then here is another I'm using the i5 for I'm using the i5 4690k but when you are going to replace the i5 with the desktop i7 it completely blew the laptop i7 now subscribe to my channel it's me Jimmy Agi bye bye